Yeah. So Natasha, you're invited in to Doll Air and stay by Mary Lou McDonald. Can mm -hmm. you just get your reaction to the um, conversation? Yeah, um, absolutely. So I um, had a meeting with Mary Lou McDonald before um, the doll commenced at 2 o'clock and we just spoke about the numerous issues that um, what has happened, my, um, my own experience has highlighted and a number of issues that have been ongoing. Um, I mean, the Women of Honour, they only just, um, their tribunal, they, their tribunal started, the, I think, a couple of days after my case and it's just, it's, and then the day before was um, the most ever, um, by, um, the women's aid, I don't know, it was like the most violence against women ever reported and it's just become an epidemic and we were just discussing like, what what are we going to do? What can we do? What has to change? Everything. That's exactly what we we arrived on. Everything needs to change. It needs to be gutted. The ju judicial system, the justice system, all of it. The education system back down. You know, and the message that these constant suspended sentences are sending to the youth, the youth that you can do this, that you can get away with this, that you can you can walk free as long as you say you did it. And the lack of in, the sense insensitivity, the lack of sensitivity training at the hands of judges all across the nation. And it is absolutely abominable and it's not acceptable anymore. And we're in the 21st century and it's time to act like it. And today was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. You know, Mary, uh, Mary Lee McDonald, deputy, and she um, notified the members of the doll here and that I was there watching as they discussed my case and a number of issues that I have highlighted that are continuous because I am one of many and I speak for so many and I also speak for people I also speak for future victims that may they get may they be protected by the justice system may they be treated with empathy by the judges and yeah so it was amazing it was incredible there was a great reaction I put a lot of pressure. We, you know, it was a, uh, it was incredible to see the pressure that the entire the 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 um, t shirt was put under, and he had to provide solutions and answers. And you know, we're getting somewhere. We're nowhere where we need to be. To, we're we're nowhere. We're, no, we're nowhere where we need to be. But you know, we're somewhere along away from what happened to me last week. Like it is, it is moving. This is actually. I'm I'm now hopeful for the first time since every since my entire ordeal. I actually feel hopeful that we can change. This can actually change, and I'm not just saying we're going to change. This is going to change now. It is. This is a new leaf. What's your reaction? You got a range of applause in there from all the TDs. What's your response to that? I mean, it was incredible. Um, I it was it was phenomenal. However, I think um, TD Holly Kearns paid, made tribute to all the victims that have not lived to tell the tale, Ashley Murphy and so on. Um, you know, and I think I think to have a victim in to be sitting there looking for justice and looking to be treated as human when so many of these women don't have voices and they cannot stand up for themselves. I think I stand for all of those and I think it was really uh, it was really and um, it was a nod to all women that have you know that have come before me and that i'm now standing up and giving all those women a voice um, and i don't just speak for myself and natasha what did you think of what the t-shock simon harris said today he was accused earlier by a reporter of speaking in sound bites do you think that's a fair thing to say do you think he's taking this as seriously as he ought to i i hope he is i don't necessarily before today, I definitely didn't believe he was. Now, I'll think about it. <laughs> um, however, yeah, it's um, it's quite difficult to it's quite difficult to comment. It's quite difficult to really understand what is he doing. I mean, I mean, only only this morning he definitely was completely deflecting, deflecting blame to the DPP. The DPP have no say in the law. They do not control the law. He w it is absolutely outrageous to be thinking that oh the DPP can appeal this sentence. I know they can. They have a they have the ability to appeal it, but it doesn't mean it's going to be appealed. It doesn't mean that's going to be granted because this is not this what the sentence that my attacker received was not an unduly lenient sentence, and that is the issue. We need to change it all. It all needs to change, and the T shock is responsible. Great.